Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be going over routing in LFO tool. You have your routing section here. You can route a number of things, cutoff, resonance, volume, pan, and a variable uh, routing uh, option here, which is sensitive to depending on what kind of filter you have selected. So we'll get into that. All right, so we can route our volume, and that's what it is by default. Right now it's being routed. L uh, graph one is being routed. All right, so right now we have a pumping sidechain effect. So what we'll do is we will shift click, set it back to zero. So right now nothing's going on. We can set this into the negative or into the positive, right? You can do all sorts of fun things. So I want graph two to be routed to the cutoff and we'll engage the filter here, right? So right now the filter is not doing anything, so we will increase the value here. All right, so right now the filter is kind of going back and forth as a triangle. All right, we can select a shape. We'll go sine, right, and we'll set the intensity to that. The resonance, so you can hear it. And you have that, and uh, that works quite well. We can have the resonance. We can leave the resonance. Oops, windows. You can have it so just the resonance is being changed by the shape here. Or both. Right? Or all three of the volume. So what we'll do is we'll map the volume to to or the resonance to two and the volume to one so we get that pumping effect we'll increase the amount and we'll have uh, an auto panned three all right you can see these little dots here that is what the value is changing So you can do all sorts of fun stuff that way. I want to show you the variable. So there's this variable option here, right? Right now it's flat. We'll draw in something interesting here. And uh, right now the variable is at zero. What this is is certain filters. So we'll go multi-filter. So this is a multi-stage filter. Um, there's two kind of cutoff points, right? You'll see cut off here and a cut off here All right, and we'll slow that down All right so you have one cutoff point and then another cutoff point All right so we can have independent routing between two cutoffs and you can do all sorts of fun stuff with that really makes a difference with the, the comb filter, what that does. Wait, oh, that's not doing anything. The actual flange. No, nope, that's not doing anything either. Where's the one that does the format? Oh yeah, this will change it up a bit. So you can have that being changed by that. Right? So it's all kind of independent routing. And the depth, this is a global depth. So at zero, basically nothing is going on. We can set the rate to and do all sorts of fun stuff with that. Not the greatest example, but you kind of understand what's going on. Uh, different parameters being mapped to different graphs or LFOs. I call them graphs because they're not quite LFOs. You draw them in. 
so they are graphs. Anyway, hope you learned stuff, and uh, yeah, have a good one.